Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So back to technical stuff today. Um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I get a little bit weird with security and watching my FreeBSD server, I, I see people trying to get into SSH all the time. It, it really does drive me up the wall. Up the wall? Yeah, up the wall. So there are a couple of things that we can do. We, we can randomize the SSH port of course, um, which is easily enough done. Um, obviously, we can stop root from logging in. Um, that's always a, a good one. And um, so the other thing that I like to do is, is put it with 2FA and two-factor authentication. Um, and I achieve this with, uh, with Google Authenticator. Along with SSH keys, um, I, I find that does me quite nicely and uh, outside of the scope of this video today but I will show you how to do SSH keys at some point okay so um, we're going to jump into our terminal as always I like to do that don't I really should uh, find another way of doing this um, <laughs> okay right so here's our terminal I'm logged in with my my user um, and most of the stuff is done as root now i'm not going to get into the ifs ands and whys of uh, doing this with sudo or do as okay so we're, we're logged in as uh, as my testing user as on this uh, this vm um so the first thing that we want to do is to to make sure that um the software that we need is actually installed and to do this we're going to go Uh, do as package install pam underscore google google authenticator There we go. So this will install Google Authenticator. That's now installed. That was nice and easy. So what's the next thing? The next thing is to edit our um, our PAM SSHD uh, configuration. So in this first section underneath auth, let's put in an extra space and we'll just put in this line. There we go. So auth required user local lib pam underscore google underscore authenticator dot so. If we come out of that, so there we go, that's written. Um, and we'll just, so once that's done, that's pretty much it. Let's go back into our SSH directory. Uh, home directory, sorry. And so to set this up, we just need to run Google Authenticator. We want it to be a time-based take token. I'm going to quickly skip ahead to me having ha added this in. Do I want to update my .google authenticator file? Yes, I do. And do we want to allow or do we want to disallow multiple uses of the same authentication token? This restricts us to logging in just once every 30 seconds. So I generally don't do this, but it can increase security. We want to yes this one. So this can allow a, a good time skew. And do we want to enable, enable rate limiting? Well, no, not really. But we could do. There we go. So that's it. And there's our Google underscore authenticator configuration file. Now, if I cat that, there you go. 
you'll also see that um, there's some recovery keys there. So if you uh, if you manage to lose your Google Authenticator, you've got these keys. Of course, you need to have been logged in to do that, but you know they are there anyway. Okay, so that that's pretty much it. Nice and straightforward one. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below if uh, if this is useful and and if you use some other way of of securing your SSH logins. I'm, I'm eager to to hear. I know there are other things that you can do, of course, and I do employ several methods to to stop attacks on my SSH. Um, but let me know in the comments below what what you like to do. Always interesting to read. Um, and if you find it useful, of course, give it a thumbs up. It's totally free. You don't have to pay anything to do that. It's always nice. Helps me out. Um, subscribe and come back for more content in the next video. Take care.